Hi everyone, it's the Eastman Turtle Dove. Um, I'd like to just do a bit of crafting today. thought I would uh, record while I do it. I haven't felt like crafting for a few weeks actually, so um, sort of getting my mojo back as far as that's concerned. I'm going to show you how to how I change a plain paper bag to something like this which will make a beautiful gift bag and stay tuned because at the end I'll show I've made two of these one the other one is in my favorite color so if you know me you'll know what color that is but I think they turned out really well um, just using up all my sort of floral and lacy embellishments and that's the back and I've got some rose trim there, metal trim or metal look trim and then some lacy pearl at the top and look at the ribbon here that I found at Spotlight, beautiful. So that's going to make a really nice gift bag I think and a little pom pom there. And these are the little clips and I'll just pop some glitter on that so you can pop that at the back or on the side. <clears throat> I didn't touch the sides, you could if you wanted, but um, I just thought it'd be nice with the, a bit of the white showing through. So I'll just zoom in so you can see some of the close detail got some paper butterflies, got a lace heart, lots of little flat backed rhinestone stickers, some silk and paper flowers, just whatever I have in the stash. Here's one with a little rhinestone in the centre, little rhinestone hearts. And I've got a strip of the paper that I used at the back, just at the bottom, at the front. So, so zoom out again and we'll get started. So I'm going to keep in with the same thing, uh, paper, just a different colour because um, this colour theme is going to be burgundy. I have, as you can see, a whole lot of embellishments just set out. It actually takes me longer to, to pick what I want than sometimes to make it. <laughs> but this is the paper I'm going to use for the back. It's got a lot of golds and pinks. And I think that's going to go well with the, with the burgundy, the deep rich colours. And these are the other colours. This one here is that one. So that was, I think, about was it $2.95 at Daiso. So you get quite a few sheets of paper there. Just pop that aside. So now let's start with um, popping the sheet at the back. It doesn't quite reach the top, so that's where I put the trim at the top. Okay, I made the other two a few days ago. Okay, so I'm just going to use some double sided tape. So I just went outside and hung up some washing. It's another hot day here in Australia. We've been having so much heat lately, um, 36 degrees Celsius today, and it was the same yesterday, it will be the same tomorrow, and then it's a Saturday today, Sunday's 36, and then Monday's going to be 40 degrees. 
So lots of fires all over Australia, which isn't good. It's just um, a very, even though it is summer, it doesn't normally get hot. That type of heat, especially like a heat wave, which, you know, days on end of heat um, until January. So the weather's just crazy lately. I use this little green sheet as my cutting board because I found this pink one here. I'm ruining it slowly um, because I, I'm quite rough and I've been cutting over it. So I hope everyone's had a, a lovely Christmas. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, just spend time with your family and have a happy new year. Okay, so I'm going to figure out which way I want this to sit. I think it looks good this way and I just carefully roll the paper on, which can be tricky. design and then I'm going to get my ruler I always use a metal ruler when I use um, a blade to cut with this is great you just put it between your finger and push down very sharp but it does the job so I'm just going to trim the end off be my front. Okay, this isn't very straight. trim some of that down don't want it so wide Now I've just ruined it. <laughs> I have to just go slightly up more because you've got to really lean against the the ruler, otherwise it wants to lead you astray the opposite way to what you want. I really need one of those paper trimmers. There we go. So that'll do. I just want a bit of the design showing at the front, at the bottom of the, the bag.
So what did you all eat on Christmas Day for your special meal? We had um, been hot in Australia. I didn't want to slave over the stove, so we just had cold cuts and salads. So each family member bought either some sweets or a salad. So my daughter made paplova and caramel slice. So we had that for sweets. And my son's girlfriend made a beautiful salad. I made a potato salad, and a mushroom salad, and my son made a hot mushroom salad, which can be served at room temperature with rice. That was nice as well. Um, my, my son's girlfriend, I don't know what the salad's called, but it's very unusual. It has some sort of a barley um, with coriander and a pomegranate. And she makes this sauce with yogurt and cumin. And it's just really refreshing. Okay, so that's the front done. So let's pop the trim on first. I thought I would pop some of this beautiful burgundy trim at the bottom so I'll just cut that to size while we're waiting for the, the glue gun And I thought for the top of the bag, I'm going to use some of this little top trim. So I want that for the back and the front. So I'll cut two rows out. Just see the little hairs on the top. I'm just cutting them down flush with the the trim. Just because I'm fussy. <laughs> Sometimes I'm fussy, and other times I'm not. But this is at the top, and I just want a nice finish. And then just cut it off in the center. Now it's warming up. on the top like so and I'm just going to use some E6000 just on one or two of the little rounds here just for extra strength don't 
think I'll have to do it with the fabric. That's more for metal and hard surfaces. So the glue's ready. So I'll just start off. Just put a little dob on the one of the rounds. And I don't want the glue to show too much, so I'm just popping a little dob of hot glue on each of the, the little rounds here. I might pop some more of the Six thousand on the second to last one. There we go. Looks pretty. Do the same on the front. It'll work quick with this glue gun. The glue does dry reasonably quickly. Do three at a time. Second to last. This glue gun is so messy. Stick keeps falling out. There we go. All the fuzzies you can take off as you go and then finish it up last. There we go. And now I'm going to and I think that's going to look really nice at the bottom try and do this in one one go So far, so good. Just do the other side. Fold. Now this fold, as I said, isn't as wider on one side than it is the other, but I'm not going to be fussed with that. I'm not going to stress over it. sort of cheated a little bit anyway there we go and what I'll do when I've finished the entire bag um, just trim this off a little bit and so it doesn't keep um, fraying on the sides I'm just going to pop a little glue and let that dry overnight just to stop it fraying there we go 
so the back is finished. Let's make sure there's no glue sticking out anywhere. Okay, so the first thing I do, I try and get the some of the bigger embellishments done first, but I've popped a little sort of like a um I don't know if you can put your name there or something. It's just like a little, not a tag, but just a sticker. So there is room for a name or something. I'm just going to leave them blank. And I think I'm going to use this one here. So, isn't it a good feeling using, actually... Doing projects and using all your craft supplies up. It's just the best feeling. But these are tricky to get out because they're so thin. And I'm not worried so much about folding the corner down a little bit because I'm sticking embellishments all over anyway. So this is going to go as far in the middle as I can get it. Again I'm not being too fussy. Not exactly straight either, but you won't even notice that. And with my pink bag, I have little hearts here. This time I thought I'll use a butterfly. So I'm going to pop my butterfly. Just there. One of these days I'm going to get a decent glue gun on a proper stand that doesn't drip. Or at least doesn't drip as much as this one. It drives me nuts. There we go. Looking good. Okay. So I've got some of these fat backed pearl flowers which I bought from China on eBay. I'm just going to pop one in the middle. absolutely covered in flowers. Let's start now with the embellishments that I have. I've got some paper, more paper. I've got a beautiful big flower which I might pop over on the top corner. using plenty of glue. So the idea is to try and cover every bit of the white that you can see. Obviously if you see a bit of white it, I don't care. But I just 
one do we cover as much as I can burgundy would be a bit too harsh that's why I've added the cream but I also looked at what other colors I have so I think I'm going to use a little bit of pink I've got some pink roses and these sort of look like what are they carnations or something anyway they're just resin balloons and I also found these paper stickers. That's just going to make it pop a little bit with the contrast in colour. says imagine so I might pop that there Just put a little bit of glue at the end of the hot glue Sort of popped out a bit there, but that's okay because I'm going to put a flower on there. I think probably enough of that size. I have some more. I haven't used this one yet. Big assortment there. Okay, get some smaller ones on there. Use quite a bit of hot glue doing this, but I have quite a few sticks into my second already. the silk flowers I want a little bit of bling before you use the glue if you want you can really take your time with this now I'm going to pop a flat back rhinestone in the centre of that Yeah, what do 
else do I have? So you know what? I'm going to use I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use a big one. But I'm going to cut or tear away the bottom this one's got the rubber squares at the back to give it more of a textured look over here This is the last one I have. I had a, a whole bag of this. Okay, I need some more. Look at all the glue that's that I'm losing. Squash that down. I need to get more of these resin flowers. Ah, and then Butterflies too. Nearly forgot. Pop another butterfly. Just there. Tuck that under. I 
white flower, tuck that under the butterfly. I need a little bit of bling. These um, I were $3.88. I had 50 pieces of resin and look at the beautiful colours you get blues and reds, yellows, greens. So I'm just picking the white. It's just where to put them. Getting there. See how effective it is? Beautiful. I've got this big, this is the only cream rose silk flower I have. And it sticks up a fair bit, so I don't know. Might be too high. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'll use it. any higher and it wouldn't look good. I'm not sure, maybe I won't. Okay, there's a sort of a rhinestone flat backed leaf design and I was gifted this from my good friend Kathy, aka Lady Green Eyes ASMR. So I've been using them, used it for the other two bags, and picked a few hearts out. This is a very pale green, so that might look nice next to that flower. Oh, will it look better here? Make it look better down there. Building on this side, just over here, It'll be fun. And getting there, it's a process.
or something. I'm nearly done. I'm getting there. Got a couple of these little green rhinestones. I'll pop a little bit of colour. in the little nooks that's why it's good to have different sized embellishments so if you want to cover everything um, you can use the small ones for little corners here and there there you go I'll put one on the other side I've got four of those that's why it's good to work from put a lot of your bigger stuff down first of course you can layer it and um, put a couple of the big things on at the top as well. It just depends on what you want to do. Here's my last flower of this size. One of my flat-backed pearl flowers at the centre of that. these paper flowers. Just cut them down with a wire cutter. I don't want to ruin my scissors which I've done. I do have an, an old pair of scissors that I use for that so it doesn't matter. to make myself some more flower embellishments. Mind something here, but I don't want to cover the imagine. So I'll tuck that under the flare at the top. Okay. 
we need. Yes, that's going to fit right. Just under the wings. There's a gap. I'm going to spin this around. Because it's getting too messy. Right. This is a precision glue gun, but it's still not as precise as I'd like it to be. And I've got one more of those little heart rhinestones. Sort of left a bit of a gap there, so maybe a bit stuck there. I don't have something small enough. aware at the sides as you open the bag these have to fold out so sometimes you can get the glue stuck I don't want too much glue on that side sort of pull it out so we've got a bit of glue there make sure it pops out again it's looking good nearly done some more of these with the the green ribbon put my little heart is it I don't think we need any more so that is the finished bag let's just zoom in so you can see the detail Open it up. Now, all I'm going to do is finish it off with some ribbon at the top.
can move it up and down the bottom here or keep it at the top. I'll just use two different types of ribbon. Don't have to do that. And lastly, just some of those heart, wooden heart pegs. And what I do is just pop some Mod Podge or glue on there and sprinkle it with some glitter. So I'll do that real quickly, but before I pop that back on there, it's, it has to dry, so that will be put on the side. I'll just use my fingers. And if you don't like glitter um, getting it everywhere, all you've got to do is, um, once the first layer is dried, once you've popped the glitter on, sort of let it dry for a few hours and then just brush some more Mod Podge on there and that will sort of seal it. And that's what I, I did with the other two. Let's get that little paper. Always tricky. I don't know what to do. That's it. And just shake that on. This is a beautiful colour. So this is my third bag. I went to Cheapers Chips to see if they had more yesterday. Um, but I think they're out of stock because of Christmas. So I'm going to have to wait. So I'd like to make a few more of these. Just give it a gentle tap. I don't tap the actual item I'm glittering. I just tap my hands. So then I'll let that dry and pop another coat of Mod Podge on and then the, the glitter will be fixed. So I'm just going to carefully pop that over here for now. And now the big reveal of my, my third bag. And da da da, green, green and, well actually it looks blue but that's actually a different type of green, a bit of a peppermint green there. And that's the back, I used some silver trimming, I used the same lace trimming at the front, at the top rather. Let's open this bag, they look much better opened up. Fill them with goodies. That's the back. So this has some green and yellow to it. It's a yellow butterfly. I love these flowers. I'm out of those now. And there's the heart. wooden clip. Try not pop the back of that one. So nothing comes off. And some ribbon. So that's it guys.
We'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.